So before I show you the new plan structure, I actually want to show you the previous structure to kind of give you the uh, context of uh, our way of thinking and how we approach this. Um, so historically, the documentation started from uh, the one thing, which was uh, Spryker Commerce OS, which was the one thing we were actually developing. And uh, at that time, having just a structure like this when everything was together just clamped up into different sections was okay but we didn't really think about how we want to approach this and as the product developed we started building new things so instead of actually planning what we want to do with the documentation and how we want to provide the information we just added more new things that they worked on. And so documentation was broken down into uh, documentation by products. So we had Spryker Commerce OS, we had the uh, ACP, we had Spryker, Spryker Code Grader, and then also Spryker Cloud Commerce OS came over, which was a very uh, interesting thing to work with because we were kind of in a transition state between the uh, on-prem solutions to cloud solutions. So those two kind of lived together for some time. Um, and uh, it actually started to be a bit difficult to manage things. So lately we've been reviewing all this and uh, we want to move on from this product-based structure to a more use case-based structure. And uh, yeah, before I show you the new one, I just want to say that uh, we actually reviewed all of our materials and documents and realized that most of our documentation is for uh, engineers. That's why uh, in the new structure, we want to focus on engineers as our main audience, um, but we'll still cover uh, documentation for business users, of course. So yeah, and let's take a look at the new structure then. Um, so I just go section by section and explain what the idea behind it. And uh, yeah, and then we can talk about it if you have any questions. So basically the first section would be the getting started guide. This will be a whole brand new sections, section. We actually haven't had a getting started guide like ever. We have some materials here and there for uh, newcomers, but we don't really have a structured uh, getting started guide for uh, like which explains everything and this is what is it is this is exactly what we are trying to achieve with this new getting started guide we're going to write a bunch of new documents which are going to explain how everything ties together in spryker like all the concepts but it's not going to be very heavy it's just to give you like an overall idea and then after you familiar familiarize yourself with the uh, all the concepts, then you can actually move on from this document, from this section, sorry, uh, to other sections. Um, the next one, which uh, we're talking about is the uh, cloud administration guide. Uh, the cloud administration guide is uh, mostly about everything related to managing Spryker with AWS. And as you move on, it will also contain things like uh, related to managing Spryker code upgrader and how to manage your pipelines for efficiently upgrading your Spryker projects. Um, let's look to the next one. The next one is uh, our development guide. Uh, the development guide will contain everything that a developer would need to understand what what is the best way to develop Spryker projects. Um, it doesn't relate and it doesn't have anything to do with the capabilities, like for example, cart or discount or anything like that. It's just the bare bone of development with Spryker. That's where you would go if you want to learn about testing, if you want to learn about SDKs, about best practices, about architecture. Uh, so yeah, and uh, the next thing 
will be the package business capabilities. They are actually already on the docs website. Uh, the idea of package business capabilities or PBCs is uh, getting everything about functionality together in one place. Like before, we used to have uh, separate sections for installation guides, separate sections for feature reviews. But now it's just a full catalog of all the Spryker capabilities. Um, so basically, if you want to work with the cart and checkout, you just open cart and checkout, and you have everything about that in one place. You don't have to hop between different sections of the documentation. You have installation guides. You have module upgrade guides. So you have everything in one place, which is uh, very convenient if you are developing something, right? Uh, as a side note, we are uh, revisiting PBCs right now as uh, we developed this section as a sidetrack apart from this newer structure. Uh, and we are thinking whether it's worth keeping PBCs in the way it is right now, because there are a lot of controversial questions about it. And uh, the last section would be about Spryker. This is just a technical section which will explain everything about documentation support, about our academy, uh, our releases, some news, and uh, everything that doesn't fit into uh, the previous sections. So uh, this is all for the new structure. I'll quickly show you what we expect the user journeys to be like for different types of audiences. Uh, now, right now, we are looking at the uh, developer. So we expect you we expect developers to start, or engineers, uh, to start at the getting started guide, then proceed to installation guides and install Spryker locally. And then from there, developers can either go to development guides to learn about developing with Spryker, or they can go to PPC guides so they can start working on the actual functionalities. And uh, we, we'll of course, have uh, the user journey for business users. Uh, they also started the Getting Started Guide to learn about Spryker. Uh, then they can either choose to install Spryker, because it's so easy, everyone can do it these days, or they can go to the uh, PPC Guide to learn about uh, Spryker's capabilities and functionalities. Um, that's actually it. Um, do you have any questions?